second brutal attack in recent months of six Americans that were wearing turbans and had long beards. We consider the turban as a gift from God symbolizing our religion. Therefore, we are deeply concerned that these assaults may be attacks on the sixth way of life. The shooting of two elderly Sikh men shocked the small community of Elk Grove. On the afternoon of March 4th, Surinder Singh and his friend Gurmij Atwal were on their daily walk when they were both shot. Singh died immediately, and after more than six weeks of fighting for his life, Atwal also succumbed to his injuries. And this one is when he got here in the States. Uh, we used to live in Santa Clara, these two. A good father, good uh, grandfather. Gurmij Atwal moved to the U.S. 10 years ago to live with his son, yeah. Kamaljeet. So you know. He was one of about 4,000 Sikhs living in the quiet suburb of Elk Grove, just south of Sacramento. Since 9-11, Sikhs across the U.S. have been the target of crimes motivated by hate. But this violent crime was a first for Elk Grove. I was disbelieved that anybody would gun down anybody, let alone a senior citizen and, in this case, two Sikh gentlemen. It, uh, it's, it's, it's beyond fathom to, that this would happen. City officials say the pride of the city is in its diversity. Elk Grove is really a melting pot, both economically as well as culturally. Uh, in, the, in the Elk Grove School District, there are 75 different languages spoken. So pretty much you have a representation from almost every country in the world who lives in Elk Grove, goes to school here, has jobs here. Sikhs have been in California for more than a century. They emigrated from the northern Indian state of Punjab and arrived here as farmers and railroad workers. Nearly half a million Sikhs live in America, and about 40 percent of them live in northern California. The Sikh faith follows the teachings of its founding gurus. Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, he said, I'm going to create a religion somebody can recognize from far. So he has given us this shape, the religion turban and the beard. This unique appearance may have made the men a prime target for extremists. This is not an accidental shooting. So these two men were targeted for some reason. We have no information whatsoever about what the reason for that targeting was. Police are now investigating the crime as a double homicide. But without a suspect or clear motive, Police Chief Leonard cannot call it a hate crime. Whether it was a, a random drive-by shooting, a gang initiation, targeted because they were Sikhs, targeted because they were mistaken for Muslims, targeted for any other reason, there's no question they were the target. Most of the attacks against Sikh men occurred right after 9-11, and since then, more than 500 attacks have been reported in California. The most recent one was in West Sacramento, where a cab driver was brutally beaten and allegedly called Osama bin Laden. But in a community as diverse as Elk Grove, Atwal says the violence stems from ignorance. Say after 9-11, it's been almost nine and a half years. So if, as a community, we are not able to recognize who, who we are, it is a bad thing. In response, the state organized a special day of solidarity with the Sikh community. Hundreds of Sikhs gathered on the west steps of the capital. Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Japanese-American communities contributed to the $52,000 reward offered by the Sikh community of Northern California. Politicians and state officials wore turbans, a well-meaning but somewhat awkward gesture to support the community. You're looking good, Senator. Thank you. Senate President Pro Tem, Daryl Steinberg, said it's about more than just a turban. What's more important is standing with people who have gone through a horrific event, a series of horrific events, and letting them know that we stand with them and that uh, fear will not rule the day here in California. With the death of Atwal, Elk Grove police have lost their key witness in the investigation. Just because we're not able to do it quickly doesn't mean we give up. We don't give up and in fact we'll pursue that case until there isn't anything left to pursue and then we still won't close it. 
no matter what, you are sick or, or black or white or Asian. So you are simply a walking man or you are going to a walk, you know. It should not happen to anybody. Uh, after all, it's going to be a hate crime.